Hello and welcome. Today we will do an unboxing. I got something new from Asia Tees and I think I'm one of the first to get this. Let's open the box. No, I'm not very good with the knife today. Mm. What is what's gonna be in there? You know because you read the title probably. There is some spare parts. Aluminium servo mount and some ball bearings. That's not so interesting for today, but here it comes. The CR18P Evo Pro. The latest and greatest of the CR18Ps. Uh, uh, we know the last one that came out is the FuriTech Furry Wagon, which is kind of the, like the brother of this car probably and today we're gonna find out what comes in the box very interesting is I ordered the brushless version and so let's see what we find here so this is the charger and the wheel thing nothing spe special so far and here is the surprise. I ordered the brushless and I was expecting to get the half painted body, but apparently this is the full painted body. We will find out if I got the right car. So let's look at the radio. Uh, everyone who knows the Furry Wagon should know this radio already. I think it's pretty cool for a RTR radio. Works very well. And here is the car. So let's get the box out of the way. Let's get the charger out of the way. And <clears throat> first things first, we put some batteries in the remote. Uh, these remotes are pretty simple. They use uh, three AA batteries. So it's very straightforward. Triple A batteries, four of them. And now we can switch it on. Yes, it's working. So next up, the body. It's really interesting that some of the pages said that the um, brushless version will come with a half unpainted body. I don't think the body is a very good style. It's a bit too low almost to look realistic. But obviously the goal was to make a very performance-oriented body and I think they did pretty well on this. The, it seems to have different shocks than the Furitec, maybe, or at least the springs seem, no, it seems very similar. Um, but we will open it up. I can see here already there is the Furitec Venom motor, so I got the correct car. Also a difference is that it has an angled chassis and uh, so let's take off the body clips. Here is a very interesting trick for all of you. I, oh my God, the GoPro went down. But we are back in business. So a trick I use, I have this uh, little metal sweet box with some magnets uh, that help me not to lose any of the small bits that come uh, with the mini RCs. So let's take the body off and yes we can see it. It comes with a two speed which I also was not certain. I would have expected that probably uh, the brushless version has a single speed version of the transmission like the furry wagon. It comes with the Venom motor, with the Lizard Pro and an extra ESC and the battery is already installed. I really like how low slung it is. It really looks like a small performance scale car. Uh, the frame has lots of clearance. What I think is a bit weird is the offset they choose to do. So if you compare it uh, to the Furry Wagon, you can see there's a lot more offset here. Um, when we put the two together in the rear, you can see, oh my God, 
it's even wider. And we already know that with the Fury Wagon and the TRX4M, it's already a challenge to run uh, with the big cars in comp with the smaller cars in competition. So this will be even more challenging. So next up, light it up. And we light up the radio and check. And yeah, you can see it moves a little bit because of the large offset. But yeah, second gear. Oh, this is the fast gear, slow gear. I don't think you need a two-speed on a brushless car. And let's look at the slow sloop. If I hold drive shaft, yeah, those CR18P axles always have some, some slope in them, but that's okay. General feeling so far, so good. It looks proper. I think it can uh, use a little bit of oil in the shocks properly. I like how low this body sits. From a performance perspective, I think this body is really very good. Uh, the looks, I'm not so sure. It uh, the, it's almost too low here in this part of the of the section. I like how they moved the battery to the slider. I think from a balance standpoint, it will be pretty 50-50 or even yeah maybe roughly 50-50. But I will put it on scales later. Um, this is just the first overview, no light controller, no nothing. The uh, servo mount seems to be similar the, or the same as the Furitech comes with. So it's this new plastic style uh, servo mount that moves the servo a bit more forward than the aluminium one. Other than that, very nice chassis and the angled skid. It's almost like an aftermarket chassis. If you compare it, I think the wheelbase will be very similar with the smaller tires. It's hard to tell, but it's roughly the same wheelbase. I think the skid will be the same and probably also the link lengths are the same. The tires are nice and sticky. So definitely better than the stock ones that come uh, with the Furitec uh, FX118. Uh, the the wheel things are the same as on the Furitech. Let's take one wheel off and check why the wheel is so wide outside. I think I know the answer, but maybe we should dig into this. So it's a five millimeter hex. And, ah. And you can see this is a very wide hex. And it seems to be it's also longer shafts than on the FX118. So not sure I like this part of it. I want in reality to be uh, the, these cars to be as narrow as possible because I sometimes drive competitions with my friends and it's really a disadvantage if the car is even wider because the gates have, have the same width after all. But it is what it is. We can change these extra shafts for sure. So that's not a big deal. But uh, generally, you know, it will increase slope and stuff like this. So I'm not a fan of this of these extensions. I like the frame. I like that it's pretty similar to an FX118. Uh, the biggest differences are the chassis design with the angle skid, that the battery is on the side and it comes with a two speed, despite the brushless, which is Maybe not required, but it's okay. Other than that, it seems to be uh, a car of the same platform. Uh, is it a better buy than the FX118? I'm not so sure right now, because I think these wheel wideners that they mounted are not the way forward. But And I don't think I need two speed. But why did I buy it? Uh, because I wanted to see the chassis design and I wanted to drive it like that and see how it performs.
if it's a different level or not. So we put this back together real quick and put on the body. Again, my magic magnetic tray comes into play. What's cool is that the body is nice and short in the rear because we have seen many FX-118s that have been trimmed. Um, to make the body shorter, this could be a real advantage of this car. Not so exciting the driving. Uh, we will see more when we hit some rocks, hopefully tomorrow. So that's it about the uh, Evo Pro by Hobby Plus compared to the FuriTech. You can really see the width difference is pretty big. And I feel if I keep this car, I will uh, modify it to be at least the same width like this one, because I guess this is simply too much for my liking. Maybe for a buggy it would be okay, but not, not for a, a performance scale style rig. Thank you for tuning in and uh, see you soon.